my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Truly grateful. So many channels you could be watching. You're watching mine. I decided not to have a vasectomy before I came to the Philippines. It's my body. It's my choice. This isn't a debate. It's a hot topic. It's always being discussed over here. No one's ever addressed it on a vlog, so I thought I'd do it. Just kind of give you my views on why I didn't do it. It's has nothing to do with morality. It has nothing to do with religion. I'm just old-fashioned. I was well in my 40s before I ever even heard of anyone having a vasectomy. I grew up in an environment where it wasn't talked about. So that's basically why I didn't have it done. It's my belief that if something can go wrong, it's going to go wrong. And I don't want anybody fooling with me down there. Not at this point in my life. I'm 59 years old. Everything's going good. If it ain't broke, don't break it. Physically, mentally, sexually, man. I'm really hit my stride over here. So why would I want to fool with that? And everybody has a different view. I'm not putting anybody down. I'm just saying that I didn't have it done. Since I've started coming to the Philippines in 2009, I've had three beautiful children. If I could do it all over again, I wouldn't change a thing. But some people don't think that way. They say, hey, I'm older now. I've raised my children. This is time for me. I don't want to be bogged down with the responsibilities financially and emotionally that come along with raising children, man, because it's not easy. I was 57 when Booby was born. You know, but... It's just something that had I been vaccinated, I mean, had I had that vasectomy, I wouldn't have this little bundle of joy, man. Bo Booby is a bundle of joy. She really is, man. You know, and I, I'm the type of guy, I want to be on my deathbed and, and be regretting anything that I've done. I should have did this. I should have did that. But I will say this. The women here, they're very fertile. You know, they're young. They're in those years. And a lot of them, having children is important to them. So if you do decide, hey, I'm going to have a vasectomy before I get over here. I've already had one. I would say be upfront and honest with the young lady. But I wouldn't do it online. I'd wait. That's something you talk about face to face. Because one thing we do, this is a fact. We give too much information online. They're not giving out any information, guys. but. Whether it's getting a vasectomy, getting um, circumcised, I don't want anybody fooling with me down there. In my estimate, I probably got another good 10 or 15 good fucking years left. Excuse my language, but it is what it is. I don't want anybody to fool with that. Everything's going good. Don't mess with that. Two, three, sometimes four times a day. And I'm just of the mindset. That if you start snipping down there, you may snip the wrong thing. And then there I am. Okay? It's just a matter of choice. My choice is my body. So I said, no, I'm not going to do it. It's unnatural. I'm afraid. I'm very naive when it comes to that. I'm not a doctor. I don't know if you can have that reversed or not. I know John was thinking about having his reversed because... Once he started coming around me, him and his girlfriend, his ba his girlfriend got baby fever. And she really wanted a baby. You know, and John really loved her. And they had fell in love. And John was even thinking about it. He said, yeah, Calvin, it's something that it was one of the reasons he wanted to go back to the United States. He wanted to look into getting his vasectomy reversed for Janessa. But the couple that I had on my live stream last week. She was 35, he was 73. The topic of children came up, and I just asked him, I said, hey, do y'all plan on having any children? Well, you could see the look in her face. She was very disappointed. She didn't say it, you know, but she said, no, we're not going to have it because he's already been fixed. She either said fixed or I had a vasectomy. She said he never told me, though, until after we were married. And he 
said he didn't tell because he never thought about it. He, he didn't think it was going to be a big deal. But they're happy right now. They've been together for 14 years, but I never even got around to ask them about uh, adoption, which could be an option for them. Because the ladies over here, the young ladies over here, a lot of them don't have children, and they want that. You know, and I, and I think that's what John was saying. He told me that. He told me that he said to Janessa, I'm old. I don't know how long I'm going to be living. At least I can give you a child so you won't be alone. That's what he said. But the little research I did on uh, being circumcised, because my mother didn't get me circumcised. Now, I don't know if she did the rest of my brothers. I've got five other brothers, but she didn't do me. And I'm glad she didn't now. You know, a little research I've done, they said that there's some nerve endings that are cut down there, you know, in the process of, you know, removing that foreskin that may affect your sex life later on down the line. You know, a lot of the guys, especially, you know, age is going to catch up with me anyway. So, you know, that's going to get me anyway. So I don't want anything else getting me okay i'm 59 and a lot of the guys that had that done the circumcision done they're having problems in the bedroom they're having that erectile dysfunction or that soft peter problems and, and i don't have that right now and i don't want it right now so if it ain't broke don't break it don't fool with me down there it's unnatural it was my choice, my body, my choice. I'm not putting anybody down. This isn't a debate. If you had a vasectomy, put it in there. Why you had it? A lot of them people just don't want to have children anymore. We're too old. I was 57 when I had booby. People would say, oh, you were too old to have a booby. It's being irresponsible, they'll say. I, I'll say, no, it's not. It just depends on who you are and what you believe. I've got seven children all together. I've been a good father. I've raised all of my children, still raising them. I have a, rela a good relationship with them all. Now, had I been fixed, I probably wouldn't have the three beautiful children over here that I had. I don't want to ever look back and regret anything in my life. So I just decided not to get it done, and I won't get it done. Uh, if the consequence of me coming over here and finding my soulmate is having a child, then so be it. So be it. But I'm not going to fool with it. You know, who, who doesn't want a perfect body? Who doesn't want the perfect smile? I get that. But at what expense? At what risk are you willing to take? It's just too big of a risk for me right now. I'm 59. I'm not going to do it, guys. I just made a decision. This is a topic that we need to talk about. It's always in the comments, it's always on the live streams, but nobody's ever really did a vlog about it. And I just want to do a vlog about it because I want to get other people's views. Does Booby get on my nerves sometimes? Absolutely. I mean, when she starts screaming, she's at that age where she knows that all she has to do is scream to get her way. It drives me up the wall. But I wouldn't reverse anything. Do I feel guilty sometimes because I can't see my son down in Mindanao the way I want to see him? I want my son with me 24 hours a day. It can't be done. Yeah, I do. But would I go back and say I didn't want that to happen? No, I wouldn't. I'm happy in my decision. Yeah, I just made a decision I wasn't going to have it done. I was well in my 40s before I even heard of anybody having a vasectomy. Two of my nephews had vasectomies. They were both in their 30s. They only had two kids each. I guess that was enough for them. And vasectomies being as common as they are today, you know, they try to reassure me, oh, I'll go ahead and do it. It's not going to bother you. You know, you have two or three days of discomfort, and then you're back to normal. But I don't want to take that risk. And I'm sure there's people who believe the same way. I don't want to take that risk. And then you start getting into this debate. Is it responsible or irresponsible? Is it moral? Is it immoral? And then you get into religion when you're talking about circumcision. If it ain't broke, don't break it, guys. 
I'm, I'm at the stage in my life now where I'm going to ride this pony out to the end. I got 10 or 15 good screwing years left. And I'm satisfied with that. I don't want to be 59 with a firm body, with a firm mind, and be limp down there. And basically be a prisoner in my own body. I don't want to take that risk. The risk is too great. If you come over here, yeah, talk to the young lady. Let her know what your views are, what your beliefs are, what your wants are up front. You know, don't fool her. Because that happens. She falls in love. You're about ready to get married. Then you drop the bomb. Oh, I can't have children. It's very important over here. In a different culture. You know, you're older. It's like John said, you know, hey, I'm older. You know, I don't know how much longer I'm going to live. I'll give you a child so you won't be alone. Well, he wasn't able to do that. It's one of the reasons he was coming back to America. Among other things. He was going to look into getting his vasectomy reversed. Well, I don't have to worry about that because I'm not going to get one in the first place. If the consequence of me coming over here, living my best life, being with the woman of my dreams, is to have a baby, then uh, so be it. That's not a big consequence to me. I'm strong enough. I can handle it. I raised seven. I can raise another one, although I don't want any more. I'm in the peak right now of my sexual years, really. But it has a lot to do with my diet, my physical health, and my partner. I've got a sexy partner, man. She turns me on. She lights my fire, man. And that helps. You know, sometimes we go two, three, four times a day. You know, she told me, she said, I thought you it would wear off by now. I said, no, because everything's natural about me. I'm not fooling around with any of my equipment because I got lucky, man. When I came over here, I thought my equipment was done. I thought I had reached that age where, well, you know, I guess the ED is going to affect me now, but it wasn't. It's because of the relationship I was in. She wasn't turning me on. I wasn't turning her on. We wasn't doing a whole lot. And if it was, it was forced. I didn't need a vasectomy with her because there wasn't nothing going on. But now I come over here, man, these women, man, they're going to light your fire, man. So if you don't want to have any more kids, you better do something. Because you blow on these women over here, they're going to be pregnant. But when you get over here and you see these beautiful women, man, the perfect shape, perfect skin, long flowing hair, you're going to want to get intimate. And if you still can have children, more than likely you're going to have children. When I came over here, I did a video a long time ago. It was called Grandfathers, you know, having children in your later years. And when I was in Cebu, man, I saw it so many times. And I was like, wow, why would these guys, this is before my son was born. Why would these guys wait so late to have children? Not, real, not realizing the equation that goes along with that. See? These guys could have children and they're with these young, beautiful, fertile women. And that's what usually happens. So, yeah, it's not a debate. I'm not putting anybody down. But I think this is something we should talk about out loud. It shouldn't be a secret anymore. We shouldn't be whispering about it. It's your body. It's your choice. I just made a decision. I wasn't going to have a vasectomy before coming over here. Am I rolling the dice? I guess I am. But if the consequence of me living my best life and being with the woman of my dreams is having a child, then so be it. Because the child is going to be taken care of. We're going to be responsible parents. But thank you so much for stopping by. If you're in America, you already sleep. And I apologize to each Vlogs haven't been on schedule because of where I am. We're still in Sikiwa Island. The internet is not what it is. It took the, the last video I did, the reason why it's not getting so many views is because of what time it was released. See, YouTube picks up on that. 
normally because 70 over 70 percent of my viewers are in america i have to release my videos in the morning about six between six and seven hell i didn't release that one yesterday until one or two because it took so long to upload same thing's going to happen today so if in america you already sleep i'm going to speak to your subconscious mind when you get up and you're going about your day whether you're getting a coffee, newspaper, you're going to work, to the gym. You see somebody out in the street who is suffering or struggling. Help them in any way you can. Maybe give them a few dollars. It may be buying them something to eat. It may be buying them something to drink. In the Philippines, I guess it's about 1230. Excuse me. We're about ready to eat lunch. We bought some fresh fish and some fresh Oyster, well not oysters, um, shells over here on the beach. We're on the beach again, Sikiho Island. Now day goes by, I don't help somebody. I was finally able to do the spin wheel yesterday. I'm so thankful. Last week was the only week since the Sunshine Show started that I wasn't able to do the spin wheel because Marilyn wasn't with me. Her spin wheel's on her phone. There's no excuse. A lot of my subscribers are here in the Philippines right now. I'm going to ask you. I'm going to Send out a plea that you help somebody while you're over here. Because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. We help other people. We help ourselves. Take care. Stay safe. Stay COVID-free. I'll see you next time. I don't want anybody fooling with me down there. If it ain't broke, don't break it. Take care.